UGC just announced their big St. Louis LAN. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a huge news, $25,000, and crowdfunding soon to come. Hopefully get it to thirty grand. That'd be nice. Uh, see some pro players and a lot of community there. It'd be pretty fun. Open LAN for Halo. Everybody has been begging for it. Oh, open yeah. LAN season. Yeah, it is open land season. There's yeah. lots of open lands coming up. Yeah, uh, so hope to see you guys there. Let's start the show. Hello, everybody. This is HES Now. I am, as always, your host, Computer, and I'm joined with... <laughs> Hypothetical. And default. And we have a good show for you guys today, because today we are joined with the one and only Halo World Global Championship, Halo 4 Global Champion, MLG Ace is with us today. Nice. Um, and we're going to bring him up on the show right now as soon as my boy Travis handles the... Uh, Transitions. <laughs> it's this man at the moment, he's doing some serious work for Optic. Fantastic play. Ace is playing absolutely out of his mind. Ace, he is the number one priority, the number one person on Optic. Lane power, Ace is the game changer here. All right, that was a small clip from <coughs> Ace's Long. new montage that he just dropped. Yeah, promoting that—that's some—that's a pretty high montage. Bet you're proud of that one. A lot. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Can you yeah. hear us? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, I was just talking about your new <laughs> montage yeah. that you dropped recently. I, I am proud of that montage. It, it, you know, it took a lot of work Yeah. Um, yeah. with my editor, just figuring everything out, getting the songs and everything, and I think he did a really good job. I actually enjoyed it a lot. I think I've watched it more than my other montage I made <laughs> yeah. on you know, Halo 3, so yeah. I appreciate yeah. him doing all that work for me, making it, me a good montage. It is definitely good. Like, I even, as soon as I watched it, I went to your house, I'm like, have you seen this yet? <laughs> like, <laughs> he was like, you were just bragging on like what the the beginning Dude, part. Dude, just the intro was, alone the intro is like insane. The intro was epic. Yeah. The I was really impressed with it with the intro. Mm -hmm. I actually like got chills watching it for the first yeah. time. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, he filmed it in such a unique way. The idea worked out perfectly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would never would have been able to pull that off. No, it it looks so cool. So, um, optic. Uh, new roster, um, so I've uh, Ace or uh, you guys um, had Straight Sick on your uh, as your fourth not too long ago, um, and a lot of fans felt like Straight Sick was one of the better players on the team, and then he was dropped uh, for and and then some people were spreading rumors like oh they dropped him because he's not BTH, and then Maniac on the Vision said there was a lot of arguing going on. Is there uh, was uh, straight sick the main cause of the argument or was this like the team just not getting along at the time or what was the problem with straight sick uh you know i guess you could say there's a little bit of arguing with him that was you know abnormal compared to most teams but that really is not the problem whatsoever i don't think um it's just you know, it, it, we didn't drop him because he wasn't our friend or something like we were. Yeah. Nothing to do with that. Like, everybody says that, but no, it's it's more like, yeah, we realize, you know, if you, if you look at APG or somebody who probably had a rough beginning to the to the season because of his concussion. Right. You know, but I felt, and personally at least, that towards the, you know, as he played more and more and just got used to the game and, and you know, recovered fully health, you know, got his health back to normal. He uh, became way better at the game and started performing way better. And it's mostly, in my opinion, just the fact that Straight Sick, I don't think he plays to, to like, the, the the philosophy of Halo that we want to play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me, Nick, and he doesn't have the same vision, I guess you could say, with, as me, Nick, and, and Brad. Like, sometimes he disagreed in his strategies and stuff. I guess that was, the, you know, where the root of most of the argument was. And we just think that, we could be better with someone else, you know, and um, 
I think Richie, the pickup of Hines is, is a huge benefit for us because one, APG and him have teamed for a long time, many of different events, and had a lot of success together. The other reason is because he's a, you know, he's a veteran player, not a veteran player, but he's a, a very good, high placing. You know, his resume in Halo is like crazy compared to everyone else competing right now. He's got a lot of wins on different teams and different Halos, even. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, he that's what he's done. He didn't get a whole lot of respect in Halo 5, though. Like, he was not getting picked up by teams. He was kind of playing more on the amateur side. That's what I was going to ask. Like, out of all the options, you know, uh, you, you guys had, you went with Hines, so yeah. you kind of answered. But it's always good picking up somebody you had people play with before, you know, because they had yeah. that chemistry going on. Yeah. 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 And veterans, you know, they're going to perform under pressure more than, like, people that haven't been on the main stage and they get nervous and stuff mm. like that. So. Yeah, I agree. Um, I do think that is was a good pickup, um, and I do. I think that uh, you are one of the most underrated players in the HES. Um, I don't. I feel like uh, you guys have a stacked roster. Honestly, um, during the off season, did you get any uh, like teams trying to hit you up for uh, to leave Optic? And why did you choose to stay with Optic? Why did you? Uh, you have you thought about leaving the team and going with a new team during the off season? Um, one team hit me up. I'm not going to say who, but, uh, it was, you know, decent team that I considered it. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I really thought about it, but at the end of the day, you know, I had a team with Heinz and we ended up picking up or I had a team with APG and Maniac for a while now. And we ended up picking up Heinz who I also teamed with on liquid, you know, a few months ago for the world championships. So, you know, we definitely improved a lot from the beginning of my, our team when we created it with Unlegit instead of Maniac, you know, for Liquid for practice for the World Championships. And, uh, yeah, we got, like, tenfold better. We probably went from, like, a top 12 team, top 8 team, to a to a top 3 team, in my opinion. I thought we were around the third best team, maybe second even at the time, but we kind of just choked at the event. Yeah. Uh, but besides that, yeah, like, uh, you know, I, I looked at the other team that – I, would, I could team with, and I considered a lot of things, you know, mainly that I don't think there's, you know, leaps and above. I don't think they're a big step above my current team, and I just think that if we do it right, we can have more success on this team, and uh, so, yeah, that was, that was the main reason. Yeah, yeah. you got to weigh the benefits of com starting completely over or working with what you And that's got to be a tough – position yeah it's you know what i mean like it's like, that is your future that you are deciding like every every hard, time i boy. interview it's stressful trust me every oh, time i, I interview a pro i want to get a sense of uh what it's like during the like crazy season i'm not the, sure if i want to experience that stress though because <laughs> i i because we only get like small glimpses of yeah, what like yeah. is taking place on. we get like the leaks and stuff and i can only imagine like what really goes down behind the scenes like yeah, how many you're not only affecting yourself but you're affecting yeah your that's, what, that's what i'm that. saying like, i would feel bad hmm. like i'm leaving you guys for this <laughs> team and i would just like see them playing with somebody else, I would just feel terrible, especially if, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of things that go into it for sure, and mm -hmm. it's stressful, and going to add to it, it's just, I thought that we were, you know, when I first joined the team and Nated and the whole thing, we, we were doing pretty well, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. we kind of choked again to qualify, and then we had to qualify in the LCQ, and then that just kind of got us to a late start in terms of practice with the new settings dropping, which we were like a week behind on, and then yeah. Nated and the whole thing with Nated retiring and pretty much quitting on the team, that went down. So that even set us further back, and we'd pick up APG, who, you know, yeah. he was if he was where he is now, it'd been a great decision. But you know, to be honest, uh, he could even admit that he wasn't healthy enough yeah. to play at the highest level, and uh, so that kind of screwed us over, in my opinion, a little bit. So, uh, you know, and then it just kind of felt like we were playing. Uh, or fighting an uphill battle the whole season and just, just it wasn't really a fair fight and I don't think we performed how we wanted to and especially how we could have so um, I wanted to stick it out and give it another shot and see what we can do. Yeah, I definitely feel Optic gets the bad end of like everybody's uh, like Optic has a stigma about them and everybody just automatically oh. thinks mm -hmm. I hate that. I I, I like There's a huge stigma behind the team, <laughs> trust me. You go like you can just click on a random stream under Halo and somebody will be talking crap about Optic. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm not even it doesn't it's actually accurate. The, 
and it's even accurate for the Call of Duty team. You know, th- with the stigma and the attention that they have, it's just. You know, it's like it's a socially cool thing to do is to say something about exactly. them, no matter it's, if it's positive or negative. It's like hating on Justin Bieber, you know. It's like, it's, <laughs> exactly. well, it's no one, you probably go listen to his music, but you're gonna hate on him. If I don't you're think everybody hates him now, though. <laughs> right? Yeah, even if you like his music, <laughs> you'll hate on him. <laughs> yeah, like you're gonna listen to some Bieber, but you're gonna be like, man, I don't listen. Anyways, <laughs> um, that's a, another question I had. Do you think the uh, flack that uh, you – okay, the team gets a lot of flack for not practicing and grinding. Do you think that's a fair assumption? Uh, uh, it depends on what exactly you're talking about. Not practicing and grinding, you know. Sometimes we get flack for that, but it, it's like – back before, we used to practice and grind all the time. You know, sometimes you don't get the right scrims or whatever, mm-hmm. but you're – gaming the game so you're at least getting better that way yeah and uh you know maybe like going traveling and, and you know taking vacations and stuff which we did which we just got back from cod xp and like i'm extremely happy i went to cod xp like uh, i don't even care the whole not practicing thing does not even compare to like the benefits in my opinion that it gave me in terms of like just rejuvenating my you know desire to play and yeah. just yeah realizing what we need to do and how you need to play because there is such thing as quality and Quantity practice, you know, focus as a team. Like you can play all, you know, you can grind all you want, but if you guys aren't on the same page and trying to, you know, accomplish a single goal, then you won't right. get anywhere. So, uh, yeah, stuff like that kind of it helps you out sometimes. And you know, as yeah. long as you get quality practice in, doesn't matter if you just play a bunch against the, the worst teams. Because like sometimes on Optic, we were forced to play against. Uh, you know, lesser teams, more of a, like, top amateur teams, especially, yeah. like, in terms of, like, on our way to qualify for the LCQ mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So as long as you get quality practice in, it's all that really matters. And, um, yeah, it's really about quality more than quantity, in my opinion. So. Yeah, there you go. yeah, even when you guys are <laughs> grinding that – people still try to say that you're not yeah, for some reason. Like, I, Maniac yeah, exactly. recently has played so, before he went to Cut XP, he played so much, so much Halo 5, he's playing like 8, 10 yeah, hours yeah, a day until he her. had to sleep I know. with ice on his hands. Yeah. And, you know, hot, or like 14 hours, I was yeah. playing like 10 too. <laughs> yeah, and still people were like, ah, Optic, they yeah, don't like, practice. I'll read a chat, like, why aren't they playing together? <laughs> or what? Why Just because know. you don't stream it <laughs> all the time, you know, so. Yeah, and you don't really need to like, playing, you know, with your teammates, like two two people searching arena doesn't really mm. benefit you like a crazy amount. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. people kind of overrate that. But yeah, like we play a lot. You know, just because we didn't have the same success, yeah, can't just like blame it and point it at just not playing. It's not the only reason that things happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely pulling for this team though. I I, mm. I pray all the time. Like when I when I watch and I'm like, let's just do this. You know what I mean? Like. It's so unexpected, I guess, through the community for it to happen. It's like I want it to happen so bad just to be like. And it also, I mean, Optic being so such a big. Order. But there is high hopes for this team, though. Yeah. But you guys, you new guys roster, have a new roster. roster. Yeah. Right. I see a lot of good attention and for the, the new. The web show, the, the vision. Roster. We get like little glimpses <laughs> of Hex like scolding maniac. <laughs> it looks like a dad yelling at a kid or something. <laughs> Um, is he has does he ever like go in on the Halo team and like has he ever just laid down the law and like said okay, all right you, this is, you know I'm, okay, we're going to do something if this doesn't happen or uh you know never really because oh, see, I, I don't think you. that's his right uh, I don't think that's his position to do that you know we're pretty old we're well into our adult years now we know what's going on we're trying as hard as you know yeah. trying as hard as we can it's like that stuff won't really, won't really help and i don't think he, he does that with any of his teams yeah yeah so yeah um flame sword he's your coach i was pretty excited when he announced that he was going to coach the team i was i was expected him to be like one of the better coaches in the league really because he has such a knowledge of the game speaking of coaches is he still your guys' coach is he still the coach yeah okay because yeah. we don't get much we don't hear from him like in the coaching area. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like well, last time I amateur. heard from him, he was he he more focused on being a uh, timer for um, power ups. Is he? Uh, do you feel like? Uh, and since they're introducing like a team analyst in the Halo now with Ogre Two being hired uh, as a team analyst, do you think it'd be a bit more beneficial 
for you guys to have uh, like an analyst and a coach that goes more in depth than just uh, timing power ups, or do you guys feel like just that's all you need? Uh, you know, I think it depends on the person for sure. There might be a few people out there like that could, you know, bring six help to a team as being an analyst mm -hmm. and stuff. But I think uh, Halo is a different game, and it, you know, it's really complicated and. You know, sometimes the coach or the analyst was, you know, no position to even help you out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They might not even be, you know, bring any benefit to the team. And I think, you know, historically with Halo, it's always been kind of the own, uh, you know, the uh, the team's responsibility to to get better and you know have the ideas and strategies because one, they're they're the ones playing it, so they have to employ it. So I don't really think there there might be some room for that in Halo. You know, you can't just you know, say one thing and it be 100% correct. But I, right now, like, I think it's always been the, the sole responsibility of the like the teammates and to, like, to be able to bring strategies together and, and be able to employ them themselves rather than just rely on other people. Yeah, I yeah. agree, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are planning on moving into the Optic House? Uh, yeah, the opportunity's there, but uh, I don't think there was room when I could have yeah. So we'll see. I don't know really know the details right now, but we'll see. Do you plan on doing any more content like vlogs, yeah. anything? Kind of miss seeing you in Maniac's <clears throat> vlogs. Well, he did one vlog, and I actually quite enjoyed. Yeah, I did. I know <laughs> yeah, you guys are so you know into all the videos out there in the Halo scene. <laughs> well, at least what I heard. I don't know. You guys, I didn't know you guys watched make, uh, Maniac of Flames for his vlogs so much, but oh, yeah. yeah, I do definitely play yeah, on. Uh, I plan on doing more content. As I get more ideas, you know, I have a few things planned right now that I want to bring out in the next few days, but yeah. Yeah, there might be, I don't, you know, I don't know if I should, it's, I don't think it's, it's fine to say, but we might, as Optic, as a team, try to get together and practice and grind all together at the same house to try to get the most benefit from it, so mm -hmm. there you go. see if we'll be able to do that here in the future. Yeah, nice. I, like, I like the uh, Optic boot camp thing you guys oh, did yeah. one time, that was Oh uh, yeah, I wasn't on that team, but yeah, that was I did that at my house with Liquid. Pretty yeah. much oh right, weeks yeah, later. Liquid, man. yeah, that was with the I salt get, and too stellar. many team changes. I can't keep up with all that. So, uh, so like speaking of the org, what's it like being on like the biggest, most popular org, and like does that put pressure on you anyway from like so many people from COD and stuff just watching Halo in general? Um, yeah, you know, I guess it could, but. I don't really think that affects the gameplay that much. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, there definitely is a lot of attention, and it definitely gets to you. You know, yeah. like you, you can talk about just you know pretty much the, the entire scene of Halo now is on Twitch. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. where everybody interacts. So you know, you can go into any Twitch chat and see that, and then you go into your own Twitch chat and you know Maniacs chat if you ever seen that during a scrim or like even you know watching the Twitch chat during the Pro League when they stream it. There is a lot of hate, you know. It's just what it is, and uh, you can everybody can sit there and say that it won't affect them at all. But after a long time, you know, if it's just repeated all the time, yeah. it's just a distraction at, at the very least of not it actually affects you, you know. Oh, bad. Um, yeah. Especially like if you just look over, you know, imagine just playing a game and looking over to your chat, and all you see is you suck, you know. <laughs> a million times, it's the only thing you see. It just affects like, you over time. Maybe I you do know? suck. But there, yeah, but there, exactly. <laughs> but there is a lot of support from like Optic fans. Like they just watch Halo from. Oh yeah! Optic. As soon as Optic cool. comes on, it's like it's, it jumps jump up, up like ten. But 10, also, 000. you have you seen the chat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and some of the people are just hopping in there to talk crap. Yeah, you know? just they they want to see they want to see people lose. They don't want to yeah. see people win. Mm. Usually, it's uh. It, there's been a lot of talk of competitive Halo on PC lately cause, uh, because you can play custom Halo on PC now. What would happen, hypothetically? Hey, what can you do? Uh, they're launching um, custom games uh, for Halo 5 on PC. I don't know if you know that. Uh, the, um, I know that. Yeah, their Forge expansion that's releasing soon. Um, they're t basically taking Forge and all the... Uh, competitive maps and uh, they're putting it on PC and you can now play custom Halo 5 games on PC with a uh, file browser and a custom game browser and everything like that. So um, what would happen if Halo 5 blew up, like competitive Halo 5 blew up on PC? Like, do you think 
console gamers would switch, or do you think it would just? You think it would never blow up on PC? It's always going to be console. Uh, probably has more potential. Like, they need PC. The PC is way bigger than console. You know. Mm, yeah. I'd say there's way more potential for it to blow up on PC compared yeah. to any, something else, but uh, maybe there'd be a universe where you could, you know, you could have console and PC people play each other, and you know, it'd be the same and, and interchangeable. But yeah, if like it do, did blow up on PC, people would, you know, if they still wanted to compete, they'd have to try to learn PC and yeah. Yeah. keyboard and mouse. Yeah, but, yeah. And honestly, I think keyboard and mouse. You know, I'm not good at it, but I'm pretty sure it's like. More accurate, you know. You, yeah, can, you yeah. can be way better at the game if you can get get it down. So yeah, there's a lot of people that are for it being on PC, but still using controllers and stay keyboard and mouse. So I mean, that it, could it's work. and we know almost for sure Halo Five or Halo Six. Oh, that would be. I would love to see that happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Halo Six is almost confirmed for PC yeah. too. So it's going to be interesting uh, times ahead. And I actually suggested they should start running. Uh, the HS on PC just using controllers and you're going to get a better looking game, better frame rate. And then when you go to land, you can actually have land. real land yeah. and stuff like that. So be interesting. Um, we're going to play a little game, have a little fun uh, <laughs> oh, today. <yeah. laughs> we have a new segment called teammate trivia. Now we went and asked the, uh, your teammates a few questions. Um, so let's go ahead and roll the intro <laughs> for teammate trivia. <laughs> Now, we went and asked your teammates a few questions. That, uh, All your teammates besides Maniac. Yeah, we well, Maniac's too good to talk to people, apparently. <laughs> he don't he talk to us, I guess. He don't ever. <laughs> he's got too many fans. He don't want to. All right, well, we asked. He's busy. Yeah. yeah. We asked APG, uh, what is APG's favorite drink? We didn't ask him. And we got multiple choice questions. We got multiple oh, choice. No, APG, we that didn't, was ask, his we didn't to ask you. APG. Yeah, that was his question to you. APG wrote us. We put the graphic up. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I asked him for a question that you should know about him, right? He said to ask you what his favorite drink is. And here's the multiple choices. Is it A, cranberry and vodka, B, Fanta and apple vodka, or C, Bombay and lemonade? Uh, see Bombay and Lemonade. Oh, Absolutely. good job! Look at this. At, he knows his teammates. Okay, um, we asked or had Hein send us a question, and Hein said, "How many team lands does Trigger Down beat SQ in 09? And here is your multiple choice: A, two times; B, three times; or C, four times. It's only triggers down versus SQ lands in 09. Probably four times. And the answer is LOL. I honestly don't even know. I think it, <laughs> I think it was three, but it should make him laugh. That was the best thing. Uh, it's probably like 10. We land all the time, and we didn't get close to beating them, to be honest. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's keep it going. Uh, Maniac. He wouldn't ride us. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, what drink did Maniac? So we made up our own. Yeah. What drink did Maniac start drinking because he wanted to be as good as the players on CLG? This wasn't in his vlog, by the way. This isn't in his vlog, yeah. So I don't think it's really publicly out there. Well, okay. What drink did Maniac start We got drinking? multiple choice. All right. A, vitamin water. B, smart water. C, chocolate milk. I thought he would get this one. <laughs> oh, I got this. I think it's pretty sure it's smart water. Yeah. Smart water. There you go. Yeah, smart water. Yeah, the video he said that he said Frosty drinks it, and who else? Formal. Formal. Yeah, formal. Okay, it. let's do a double or nothing, like a hard one. Uh, Flame Sword. What day did he announce his retirement to publicly? Publicly. This is a hard one. Like I, I would never know. This I would. I don't. I don't even I just, know. It. I had to look had to it look up. up <laughs> <laughs> just sneak down on the your day that he announced his retirement. The publicly. day that he announced it publicly. Publicly. At least guess the uh, month. First. Yeah, guess the month. Let's do the month because I think I went too hard. Yeah. On okay. May second. It was April twenty-six. Yeah. Dang it. 
It was right out there. Close. Pretty close. Hey, All right, we got ball, right? one more <laughs> thing we want to do with you, okay? And I'm going to send you a link in Skype for this one, okay? This, uh, <clears throat> We're going to play a little game of Connect Four because I want you to get some revenge on uh, everybody <laughs> for that Maniac video. The story behind that, but I'm not going to oh. say it on stream. Okay. Story send behind this that. link. Hit enter on that. All right. Let's just join hope this, this works. This is join this, this works. game, and we're okay. The way we're gonna do it. How do I do this? You just click it. Just click. Just click the link. Okay. The way we're gonna do this. I sent you the link. Just click it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go. Uh, each, each time we go, or we're gonna be red. You're gonna be blue. Each time we go, we gotta each take a turn playing. Yeah. And then I want to make it like fast paced game. So you get three seconds to drop it. Like, yeah. So you can't sit there and think. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to let you go first. I go first? Yes. I haven't played. You just drop one. Okay. Okay. Now he goes. Okay. Now I go. Quick. Oh, wait. Hey, wait for him to go. Yeah. He's going to go. Did he go? Yeah, he's what? They put pressure. Oh. oh. Put pressure on me. I'm not even looking. <laughs> I'm just playing. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed that uh, Connect Four is now an eSport. It's about to be. <laughs> Dude, I don't get no time to think, so I feel like I'm going to mess up. Like, I'm going to hit it the wrong way. You're going to. He. Hang on, he's, he's, gotta go. he's taking longer than three seconds. It's easy. No, he don't. He gets as long as he a wants. Internet delay. <laughs> it's just us that only get three seconds. We got three yeah. people going. I'm the middle guy. that's got throw. Are we up. red? Yes. Yeah. I feel like he goes before we do. Cause here he knows his move. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <coughs> just but I'm just pushing the button. Can the viewers see this? Yes, they should be able to. Wait, Josh. I can't say anything, but make your move. Oh, you messed up. You could have. Connect. I'm. It's, okay. it's not my turn. It's my. Oh, turn. I could have. It's your turn. It's my turn. I don't. He's going. Oh, busted. <laughs> okay. Um. Are you gonna go? <clears throat> If this is a stalemate, I'm gonna be so pissed. No. <laughs> Man, you guys put me on the spot. You got three seconds, Josh. Come on, dude! You can't <laughs> do that. You're cheating. <laughs> I'm looking on my options, man. Oh, dude, we just lost. He, where'd he go at? You lost. Where? Where? Oh, I there. see it right there. Uh, I don't see it. I see I'm it. I'm too far away. It's right here. Where? Oh, he did a... Oh. What? Man, you guys put the pressure on me. <laughs> God dang it. He got revenge. He did it. Look at this. So he doesn't suck at connect. Or we just kind of... We suck. Hard. Where's three of us? Right. We got be three brains against <laughs> one, and we can't even... All right. Thanks for coming on the show. I uh, hope everybody had a good time watching and enjoying the wonderful interview that we just conducted with Ace. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, I can't wait to see you guys. You guys are going to get on the grind, right? Season's coming up. Yeah, got tonight. We'll be scrimming tonight. Scrimming tonight. Uh, you got anything else you want to say to everybody? Uh, no. Besides, we should be streaming scrims tonight if we can. Uh, besides that, appreciate everybody's support, and uh, I think we're gonna do much better this season. So uh, get ready for it. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Can't wait That's good to, to hear. Cannot yeah. wait. Um, <laughs> HGS season two is on its way, and UGC Open Land. Are you gonna be able to make it out here? Uh, I'll try, but I honestly don't know the, the schedule with the pro league, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot to figure out there because <laughs> yeah. it's kind of in a bad uh, timing, but yeah. uh, we'll figure it all out. <laughs> um, so uh, thanks for everybody that watched. Uh, thank you, Ace. We will catch you in your stream. I'll be watching. Yep. All right, no problem. Thanks for having uh, me on the show. You. Appreciate it. All yep. right, thank, thank you. you. All right, everybody, and thanks for watching. Uh, that'll be the show, and I think we'll have Snipe Down next week. Snipe Down next week. Hopefully. Uh, Snipe Down will be on next week. We'll probably <laughs> hopefully start on time, and hopefully our desk will be back next week. We don't have our <laughs> desk this week because it, it looks fine, though. It yeah, went to. Good.
Our desk is in Chattanooga. Yeah. Uh, yeah it was used for... All the for, land. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> make sure you check out us on Twitter, HGS underscore now. Check out UGC events. They have customizable shirts. Uh, they have naded shirts. And naded straight shirts. Six, straight six, uh, ninja no. shirts. Six. Straight six shirts. Make one shirts. <laughs> uh, then they all things, are customizable. Yeah. Uh, you can and put I, your gamer tag on Yeah, that. and they have backpacks and all that. So backpacks. check out that. Um, and follow uh, this video will be up on YouTube. Probably tonight. Tonight Probably or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Either tonight or uh, tomorrow morning. Check out our YouTube. It's just HGS If you subscribe, now. you'll it's know. first thing that pops up. Subscribe to that. And we'll be here next Tuesday, same time, same place, with the one and only Snipe Down. And we're going to talk about his new – Envy Squad that just beat CLG in a scrim, and it's yeah. going to be a good one, so make sure to check that out. Yeah. See you guys next time. Yeah. I think that was a good episode.